So here today we're here to talk about uh, three. Three is our third collaboration with our friends at Three Chiefs Brewing. We've made a couple really fantastic stouts with them. Uh, the first beer we made uh, was called First. We made a second beer with them, called that one Second. So naturally, this one is named Three. Uh, as, we, as we know, uh, Three comes after Second. The first two beers were stouts. They were actually the same batch of beer, uh, a some really small, tiny batch of beer. We aged uh, first in bourbon barrels. We took half of that beer and packaged it off, released it. The other half of the beer got double barreled into coconut rum and spiced rum barrels, and then was released the following year as second. That's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to make these, these uh, really, you know, kind of Three Chiefs style uh, sweet stout with a little bit of uh, brewery influence when it comes to barrel aging and um, elevage during barrel aging. In other words, like taking uh, barrels and applying their best attributes to a beer, double barreling into a different barrel to apply again different attributes and then using the ingredients that play with those attributes to balance a beer. That's again what I wanted to do. The guys at Three Chiefs are rad. Uh, they're awesome in the way that, you know, when they when they were younger and they were getting into beer, they were completely inspired by the brewery and the brewery's beers. And some of the brewery beers that they were inspired by were not heavily adjuncted beers or even adjuncted beers at all. They were they were blends of, of barrel aged stocks. And one of the beers that was really inspiring to them was Melange 3. So we wanted to look at, uh, you know, how we went about making some of these different beers and what, what those beers developed to be in the cellar and what those beers can be once uh, selected and blended. So we started the project by brewing a stout forward barley wine. So something that was, you know, darker, that was kind of a new school barley wine, more stoutish. So it was not um, completely bone dry. Uh, it was it had a little bit of residual sweetness to it that would complement the blending with, with our barrel stock. So essentially, you know, three months ago, the guys from uh, Three Chiefs came in and we, we went to the barrel cellar and we tasted through many different brewery based beers from Black Tuesday to So Happens This Tuesday to White Oak Sap to our anniversary Old Ale uh, to a couple of different select uh, barley wines and wheat wines and different things that we had in the cellar. That's what took this beer from, you know, ideation and what we, what we brewed and what the brewery made with the influence of Three Chiefs and really made this beer uh, a Three Chiefs beer. Um, strictly because, you know, we let them choose the barrels that we were going to blend into this beer. Like, I, I didn't choose them. I mean, I was there, we, I tasted them with them, we discussed them, but really it was Charles and Vince uh, from Three Chiefs that, that chose this beer and that select barrels to blend into the beer so that they could create their own brewery melange beer here with us. And I think that kind of rounds out the uh, collaboration story where we just said like, look, we want to make some some really esoteric uh, small batch beers for, our, for only our hoarders club to uh, now we're gonna, we're gonna scratch their itch, so to speak, and make this melange beer that, you know, I don't want to put words in, in either Charles or Vince's mouth, but ideally the way I heard them was I was inspired by them being inspired by the brewery. You know, the brewery's been around 14 years, and a lot of the times, like, the people we inspire are moving on and creating new things in beer. And, and I think all the while we're doing the same thing, um, but sometimes it gets a little bit lost. And it's really cool to meet people that were inspired by the brewery and who are still inspired by not the new cutting edge stuff you're doing now, but the kind of the old stuff that you were doing then that was truly cutting edge of the time, but it inspired a bunch of people and to have those people come back and be like, I love that. And I, you know, I still remember that. And I want to make a beer like that. That to me is, you know, pretty inspiring as well. So anyway, this beer, Three Chiefs, I've never talked about the beer. All I've said is like the story of the beer, but essentially think of it as an, as an ex brewery melange blended under the brewery stewardship but letting uh, the guys at Three Chiefs have a little bit of power to, to decide what the beer is going to be. It is a big roasty barley wine. It's not, it's, it's not, I mean it's uniquely a brewery beer but it's not uniquely a brewery based beer. But I can tell you it's a, it's a beer that's uniquely brewery but blended by the new school. So like I said this rounds out our collaboration series with Three Chiefs and you know I couldn't be any happier with the three beers we made. Thanks guys I appreciate ya. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers homies.